Season of Dawn will be soon upon us. Today dropped a new trailer for the season, so I thought I'd give you my thoughts on what we saw along with additional information. But man, Bungie definitely know how to make a great trailer. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another Destiny video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. So yes, about that great trailer, if you haven't seen it, check it out on screen now. You've been busy, Guardian. When you slew the Undying Mind, you changed the course of history. Now time is broken on Mercury. Fractured by the Legion. They intend to write a new history, a new ending to the Red War. If you're willing to help, you'll need to walk the corridors of time. And you'll need my sundial to do it. I built it so that an ally of mine could cheat death. I failed to help him, and his death remains my greatest regret. They call me the greatest titan who ever lived. Bring the sky down upon them. So it's interesting to say the least. Trailers, as always though, on Bungie's behalf, always look promising. And it seems to be based on us saving Saint-14, who is rushing by the way, how epic is that? We see also says returned and we use something he has built called the Sundial to travel through time and do many things and while we're at it safe Saint 14 no doubt. So let's quickly break down this trailer. Osiris is back, he states we killed the Undying Mind, we changed the course of history. It seems now the Cabal are trying to rewrite a new history and a new ending to the Red War. If we are willing to help we will have to walk the many corridors of time and it's the Sundial in which we use to do this. So besides the straight up obvious plot to this new season, what else does this bring with it? There's a new 6v6 activity called the Sundial. This I do imagine is us taking on random old and new faces from past, present and future in a new style horde mode. We get new exotic quests, we also see new exotics within the trailer. This one looking absolutely incredible and this is the battle pass exotic. Seems like it can switch between some kind of scout and a projectile shooting animal. We also see this thing, less information is known about this but it does look amazing. Is this an SMG? Is it an auto rifle? I'm not too sure. Not enough is shown on to presume what type of weapon this could be. We also see Rusted Lands Returns, an old favourite map of mine for sure. We get new finishers, new emotes which are to be expected. We also see Sparrows on Mercury. Thing is people, Mercury is so small you can literally run across it in about 10 seconds. So I'm guessing it will probably expand upon this planet. So other than that, from the trailer, it doesn't give off much more information, but if we head over to Bungie's website, we get way, way more, including the all new battle pass, its rewards, a new artifact, and so much more. So let's check it out. So we can see, Season of Dawn starts December 10th and ends March 9th. If we scroll down, story and activities, defend the timeline. With the Vex invasion now defeated, Osiris calls you upon to face a new threat. Stop a council of Cabal prison flyers from manipulating time and undoing our victory against the Red Legion. That sounds damn cool, it really does. Now if we scroll down a little more. Story and activities, repair the sundial, requires season pass. Turn back time, journey through time to save a legendary hero, Saint-14. The sundial, 
defend the Sun Dive from the Cobalt in an all new 6 player match made activity. Earn new weapons. Choose which weapons to earn by completing time lost weapon frames. Time lost weapons frames sound amazing. Seasonal Artifact The Lantern of Osiris. Upgrade the Lantern of Osiris to increase your power and unlock seasonal gameplay mods. And there we see it right there. Looking cool indeed. If we scroll down, we can see what I believe to be the new Battle Pass armor with their ornaments applied. With new weapons too. Two of these I actually believe to be an exotic. I'm not sure about the third the one the hunter is holding. The two we see the warlock and the titan holding we do see in the trailer. And we get a better image at that what I believe could be an SMG and an auto rifle in a second. But looking pretty cool. Gear and rewards. Season pass rewards. Get access to rewards. Instantly unlock the exotic scout. Symmetry. Plus exclusive seasonal armor sets when you get the season pass. And there we can see this, what I thought was a hand cannon, but now I think it could be a sidearm. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's a sidearm. But is this a new exotic? I mean, when's the last time we had an exotic sidearm? Uh, I can't remember. Was it the Rat King? Not too sure, but looks cool either way. Then we can see the Battle Pass armor. Looking quite basic there, but I'm pretty sure with the seasonal ornaments on it, it will look cool like what we see here. And then we see what I believe to be some kind of Saint-14 themed... I don't know whether that is an SMG, is it an auto rifle, I mean you just can't tell. But it looks amazing by design either way. Okay so if we scroll down, seasonal rank rewards, and here we can see from rank 1 all the way up to a 100. Now there's many things here people which I'm not sure what they are, this thing right here, no idea what that is. Uh, a few of these things though we do know what they are, obviously the box of the materials we know. Know that you see is going to be an emblem of some sort, these XP boosts I'm guessing. Glimmer boost here, we get a shader, we get uh, emotes. Now we can see we unlock the armor on both the free uh, path and the paid path. Well, let's scroll up uh, to that level one. That's the weapon here, we see the warlock who goes in that seventh column run within the trailer. I'm not sure what that is cool, but it looks pretty cool, I guess. Here we can see at rank 35, we unlock the cemetery. And we can see more shaders, bright dust. And a few other bits and bobs. Now, if we, oh, what's that there? I'm not sure what it is. Looks like an auto rifle, maybe. Looking pretty good, though. And if we scroll all the way to the end, we will see. Oh, we've got an exotic ghost shot there. Looks pretty cool as well. Red banners. I'm not sure what these are. Obviously, something to do with PvP, but I'm not sure exactly what they are. And if we scroll across a couple more, we get, oh, we got an ornament there for what I believe was that auto rifle. And when I level 100 reward, we get an ornament for that symmetry scout rifle. I call it symmetry or is it symmetry? It's one of the two. Who cares? We get an exotic emote at level 99, exotic engram at level 98. And I'm guessing these are going to be the new Eververse engrams right here. So yes, that's the season pass and its rewards from 1 to 100. Okay, so scroll down, included with your Season of the Dawn. Season Pass owners instantly unlock the exotic scout rifle, play the new six player activity, the Sundial. Exotic quests, seasonal armor sets, and new ornaments. New triumphs, bounties, and seasonal lore books. Exotic emo, ghost ornament, and finisher. Additional Season Pass rewards to unlock, free to all Destiny 2 players. Three seasonal rank rewards, seasonal artifact, the lantern of Osiris. Help Osiris fix the timeline by restoring our bliss on four destinations. Unlock the seasonal armor set to Righteous. Progress through season ranks to earn the exotic scout rifle, Symmetry, which again is unlocked at level 35 for all players. You get it straight away if you're a season pass owner. But the one thing I ain't seeing here people is, there's no mention of a new raid. So is there not going to be a raid with the Season of Dawn? Doesn't look like there's going to be people, which is bad news, I guess. But that could come later on, we do not know. Also, a quick note, I mean, could just an idea. Osiris is returning, Mercury's returning. Everybody wants Trials back. Could it be returned? Could the Trials of Osiris be returning? Well, you never know. So yeah, guys, just a little bit of additional information. On the new trailer, not long drops, looking pretty cool. Now, if any new information does drop, obviously, guys, I will have you covered right here on my channel. Now, I haven't been covering Destiny majorly over the past month or so, but I do plan on getting straight back into it with this new season. So expect daily Destiny 2 videos from December 10th. But yes, guys, we will have to defend the timeline. Sounds pretty cool. Now, let me know your thoughts on this down below in that comment section. 
If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.